Hi, this is Bill with Title Tone Drones. I got uh, three Mavics here on the workbench, and we're going to have a look at the new DJI Smart Controller. And one of the things that um, I like about this controller is that you can use the same controller for multiple aircraft once you sync it uh, to these other aircraft. So I've already powered all three of them on here, and the process to uh, navigate between the the other units are um, doing a slide down of the menu and then there's an icon here that just says switch aircraft and you can go in there and then the aircraft that you've previously set up are in the menu here and of course I've named them and you can actually see an image of the style so I have um, the Mavic Enterprise uh, Zoom right here and we have the Mavic Enterprise Dual and then we just have a um, Mavic 2 Pro, which is uh, probably the most popular consumer drone right now. So, I'm, so right now I'm connected to the uh, the Zoom um, aircraft right now, and this one has e equipped with the spotlight. So I'll just turn that on so you can see. All right. So now we'll turn that off, and I will transition now to one of the other aircraft. Again, I've, I've previously bound these. Um, one of the questions that I think folks had was, what about the original remote controller? Um, that essentially gets unbound when you bind it to this. So if you're using the uh, Mavic 2, you can actually have a second remote hooked up, which is uh, actually very cool. Um, that's great for training people that never have flown before maybe. So the pilot always has primary control over it, and then you have the the co-pilot is uh, essentially able to put inputs in and do everything that they need to do, but um, it gives you the opportunity to take control if, if they get into trouble. Okay, so the uh, smart controller has rebooted, and now it uh, automatically switched to the... Um, DJI Go 4 app, which is what the Mavic 2 is going to use, and we'll just connect up here. And you can see the light has turned green, and the aircraft, uh, the lights have stopped flashing, indicating you know that it's connected. And of course, I'm getting an update nag screen here, but we're just going to go into the uh, menu here to transition to the camera, and there we go. So again, that process is sliding down. From the top menu, you're going to get the right motion here, I guess. Hit switch aircraft. And now I'm going to transition to, let's do the dual. And it disconnects from the original aircraft, and then it'll reconnect to this one. Closes the other app. And it doesn't take terribly long, it's maybe 20 seconds or so to reconnect because essentially the remote controller has to power down and, or I should say just reboot and then reconnect to the other aircraft. So that one, that one looks like it's already connected over there. So it knows to start the DJI Pilot app. There's, there's my puppy dog, Archie. Hey buddy. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this on. You can get a nice uh, thermal image of Archie here. Just a moment, so I'll, I'll start up the Mavic 2 Dual. And one of the things that uh, folks seem to like, get to the transition here between the cameras, there's a thermal image right there. Uh, you can preset all these buttons on the remote and, you know, put your color palettes and stuff in for for thermal if you have that but of course many folks are going to be flying this Mavic 2 Pro but it's just nice to know that uh, regardless of which of the Mavic 2 series that you have it works with all of them so I just thought I'd demonstrate that I thought that was pretty cool